to Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh. Dr. K is a retired physician and founder of Health Watch USA. Hey, good morning, Dr. K. Uh, good morning, Jack. How was your weekend? It was very good. Cold, but good. Nice. Good, good to hear. A few things to talk about this morning. Uh, more reports of Omicron undermining delivery of care for other conditions, including heart attacks. Well, that's correct. There's a recent report of that. We even had that case report during one of our meetings that people who are having heart attacks, I would also include having a stroke. If you go into an ER and that ER is just swamped, they're not having the staff available to accurately treat and diagnose patients with other conditions. And that's, that's a huge problem. There's also, as you know, a problem of availability of treatment for other conditions such as cancers or things that don't need to be treated emergently. In other words, not just within that hour or that day, but things that you'd like to get treated within a week or two weeks. So this strain on our healthcare system right now is not good. People need to realize COVID-19 affects our health not only directly by getting an infection, but also because it's flooding the healthcare system, it's affecting all sorts of different ailments from getting proper and accurate and prompt treatment. So to me, it's a problem we need to really take seriously. Let's start wearing masks and let's at least be very vigilant following public health advice during the peaks of these surges because our healthcare system is being overrun. Uh, vaccine effectiveness. Tell us about the report from the Public Health of England. Well, the Public Health of England, and there's other reports that have mirrored this, one that was published by the CDC, another that which came out of Harvard, that really is finding that two-dose mRNA vaccine after a couple of months just isn't that effective with Omicron. You really need to get boosted. And there's one study that when it looked at Omicron and it looked at boosting, it put the protection of getting into the hospital or the emergency room up over 90%. And so that is very good. Now, I need to add that with all of these vaccines and boosters, when they come out, you really don't know how long they last. But right now, to just get us through this surge to the point when the antivirals are available, the monoclonal antibodies are available, that to me would be a big plus. So if you haven't been boosted, please go out and get boosted. Now, if you say you've got an infection, that that's protective, well, unfortunately, probably not. You know, at the beginning of this pandemic, everybody was saying that, well, you know, at the most, you'll get two years of protection. We're right now already two years into this pandemic. And with Omicron, 9.5% some feel that is a marked underestimate, but 9.5% of cases are reinfections. So people are getting reinfected. And if it's been a long time since you've had an infection or you didn't have a severe infection, you too, similar to if you're vaccinated with a two-dose mRNA vaccine, may be very susceptible to this variant. So if you've been infected with Omicron, get a vaccination and if you've had a, just a two-dose mRNA vaccine, please go out and get a booster. Dr. Anthony Fauci said yesterday that he thinks the U.S. coronavirus cases could be peaking. This is a quote from Dr. Fauci. He said, what we would hope is that we get into the next weeks or a month or so, we'll see throughout the entire country the level of infection, get to below what I call the area of control. He was on ABC's this week. He went on to say that people should still be prepared for a worst-case scenario situation. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but we have to be prepared, cautiously optimistic. He added things are looking good. We don't want to get overconfident, but they look like they're going in the right direction right now. What do you think? Well, I think so, too. You're seeing in some of the cities, such as New York City, the cases are going down, hospitalizations are going down. And so, I mean, that is very good news. But you need to realize we're not doing quite as many mitigation measures as what they're doing in New York City. So we may not have quite as good of results. We may lag a little bit. But I am hoping that we're going to peak very soon and then start to go down. 
There are other variants of interest which are out there, which we need to be watching. But as you know, not all of those will pan out into being a raging epidemic like we've seen with these other variants. So we need to be cautious. We need to keep our guard up. But at the same time, I think there is some hope out there, especially when we get these antiviral medications available to the public. Did I see that there's a new variant of the variant? Uh, that's correct. And this is one I'm very concerned about, and it's a BA.2. And not much is known about it, except it appears to be competing very well with Omicron in Denmark. It now makes up 50% of the cases, and it's exponentially rising. And we also have that variant in the United States, and we see some increase in that. And we don't know if the case fatality rate's going to be the same, disease severity is going to be the same. We just don't know that much about it, except it is an example that this virus doesn't want to quit. As we mount our immunity and we mount our vaccines, the virus isn't sleeping. It is also out there mutating. So it's very important that we decrease spread. Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, as always, thank you, sir. We'll talk to you on Friday. All right. Thank you, Jack. Bye.